Today we're installing the Majax Ultimate Plus light kit designed for the club car precedent. Included with the kit is a front headlight, rear tail lights, a bucket harness, turn signal harness, your front harness, turn signal indicator, a brake switch, battery harness, a power converter, your covers for your turn signal indicator and harness, a horn, and USB ports with harness. Before we begin, I want to remind you to set the cart into tow mode, turn the key switch off, and engage the parking brake. Now let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is remove our factory floor mat. We're gonna take out and retain the four screws located in the factory floor mat retainers. Once we have our floor mat removed, we can take out and retain the three screws that hold the dash onto the front underbody and retain all pieces. Now we're gonna remove the brake panel cover and retain. And using a small screwdriver, you're gonna put the screwdriver into this hole located on each side of the charge port cover bezel. Pop the bezel free and retain. Next thing we're gonna do is remove and retain the three screws that hold on the front trim cover here. Now we can remove and retain our front seat cushion. Then we're gonna remove and retain the two front screws that hold the body down here. This will free our body up enough so we can run our bucket harness under the body and into the front channel. Before we lay down our bucket harness, I'm gonna run through the connections first. Up front, you're gonna have a 12 pin connector, which goes to the front harness that we showed you in the intro. This is gonna have a little gray pigtail with a male bullet connector on the end. That actually goes to the cart harness. Moving along, you're gonna go to the brake wires. There's a black, red, and orange wire. In this case, we're only gonna use the orange and red wires. Then you'll see the battery hookups, blue and black wire with a two pin connector here. That's gonna plug into our battery wires, two pin connector. And then at the back side of the bucket harness, you're gonna have two three pin connectors for your tail lights. The center yellow wire on one of the connectors is the indicator for the passenger side tail light. Now we're gonna take the 12 pin connector from the bucket harness, feed it in through the access hole located behind the F and R switch and then down under the front body and into the channel. You're gonna pull the bucket harness through until your brake switch wires will go into the brake access. The 12 pin connector will go in the channel in the middle of the floorboard and feed up to the front dash. Now we're gonna feed our brake light terminals through the battery box and into the rear access panels on each side. You wanna make sure you go under your battery cables so that you don't have any wires going over the top of them. Any excess harness you can just shove down into the battery well. Remember on the tail light, the one with the yellow wire goes to the passenger side. Don't worry if the wires don't go all the way to the back. We'll use a wire snake later and pull them all the way through. For now, just hold on to your black and blue wire that connects to your batteries. We'll get back to this later. We're gonna move back up to the front dash. Before we install the front harness, we're gonna run through the connections. You'll notice that we have two 12 pin connectors on each side of the harness here. The 12 pin connector that has a six pin connector coming off of it with a little male bullet connector. This 12 pin is the one that plugs into your bucket harness. The six pin and the male bullet connector will run down through the front channel and plug into your front headlight. The 12 pin harness on the opposite side is what's gonna plug into your turn signal indicator relay. The two pin connector with the fuse that you see here will plug into your USB ports. And last, you'll have a brown wire that's marked upgrade. This will plug into the purple wire for your turn signal indicator relay. Now we're gonna attach the gray male connector on our bucket harness to the gray female connector here on the main cart harness. Now we're gonna take our front harness. We're gonna plug in the 12 pin connector to the bucket harness, but we're gonna use the side that has the six pin connector that goes to the front headlight. Plug that in. Now we're gonna feed the six pin connector with the male bullet through the front channel here of the dash and down to where our front headlight's gonna mount. Before we install the turn signal indicator, we wanna go over some of the functions. 
You'll notice on the outside here, we have our horn button. Up and down on the lever works the turn signals. Here on the very outside, the first switch here turns on your daytime run lights. The second will turn on the daytime run lights plus your front headlights. If you pull the lever back towards you till it clicks, you now have high beams. To turn those off, you just simply click it again. You also notice the inside ring here has two additional light settings. This feature is for fog lights or small light bars. This will help keep your dash panel clear of extra switches. Now we're going to attach our indicator to our steering column. Once you find your desired height, you're going to use the other screws, attach the clamp on the back side, screw it down tight evenly across all four mounting screws. Now that our indicator is mounted, you're going to take the back cover and snap it on. Then using the supplied harness cover, you're going to snap it over the column with the harness going into the channel. We're going to run our harness right here to the left side or just under the bottom side of the dash. When you reattach your dash, you may have to trim a little bit of this plastic out here to give the harness some room to go into the back side of the panel. Before we install our relay harness, I'm going to go through the connections. You'll notice a 12 pin female here by itself. This 12 pin female goes to the 12 pin on the side of the front harness here. The 12 pin on the opposite side of the relay harness will go to the 12 pin from your turn signal indicator. Then you'll notice the hazard switch with the purple wire with a male spade connector. This purple wire goes to the brown wire from your front harness. Now that we have our 12 pin from our indicator, we're going to attach it to the indicator relay harness with the 12 pin on the side that has your switch. Now we're going to attach the other side of the 12 pin from the relay harness into the existing front harness that we installed earlier. Now you're going to take the harnesses and using the cavity back here behind the dash, carefully tuck both pieces in, but leave out the front wires. Now you'll notice we still have our USB plug in. Now we're going to take the brown wire from our front harness and the purple wire with the spade connections and plug those two together. You'll also notice here on the indicator harness where your hazard switch goes, you'll have a negative fog, second position, first position fog bullet connectors. This goes to the indicator so you can run additional fog lights or light bars. So in this case, the first position, if you had a front headlight, light bar, or a fog light, you plug your first hot in there. If you have a second light, you'll plug the hot wire into that. And for both lights or a single light, you'll plug your negative connection for those lights to the male bullet here. And now your two additional inner ring switches are wired up for a fog light or additional light bars. Now we're gonna install our hazard switch to our front dash panel. You'll notice here on the back side of the switch, there's a black, blue, and a yellow wire. The black wire is directly across from the LED. Remember this when we're reattaching it, we're gonna disconnect them and unscrew the ring nut on the back side of the switch. Now using a 15 30 seconds drill bit and our safety glasses, we're gonna drill through the front dash panel for our hazard switch. So since we're also mounting a USB on the front dash, we're gonna use this location because there's a bigger area to mount the USB here. And we're gonna instead put our hazard switch here where this small indentation is already pre-made into the dash. And as you can see, there's nothing back here behind it. So we're gonna make sure there's no wires in the way and we're gonna drill through the dash at the marked location. We're gonna feed our switch into the dash, tighten it with the ring nut. Now with the LED at the bottom side, we're gonna attach our black spade connector to the bottom terminal, the blue spade to the middle, and the yellow to the top side. Next, we're gonna take our USB, remove the ring nut from the back side of that. 
You can find a different location if you choose to mount the USB, but since we already have a hole here, this is a good spot for us. We're gonna use the ring nut, and we're gonna make a mark and cut it with a cutting tool, and we're gonna mount our USB in the front dash panel. A one and one eighth drill bit or spade bit will be all you'll need to do this hole if you don't have a cutting tool. Using our cutting tool and our safety glasses, we're gonna cut out for our USB. Feed your USB in and then tighten with the ring nut. Now you'll notice on the back side, there's a plus and a minus symbol here. This is for your red and then minus is for your black. At this point, all of our connections are in place and we can reattach our dash. To install the brake switch, first thing you wanna do is disengage the part brake and chalk one of the wheels so the cart doesn't roll. Next, we're gonna loosen the nut on the front side of the equalizer bracket by turning it towards the driver's side of the cart. You wanna move the nut enough so that you can get the brake bracket to fit between the equalizer bracket and the nut with the brake switch spring attached to the bracket. You're gonna place the brake switch on the bottom floor of the brake panel. Now you're gonna hook the bracket to the bottom side of the brake rod with the longer end and the brake switch going towards the back side of the cart and then re-tighten your nut. Make sure that the bracket is tied up against the equalizer rod as shown. You wanna set the brake switch when the brake is not engaged to where it's just barely tight and not engaging the plunger here in the brake switch. So it should look like this, and then when the brake is engaged, it'll pull the plunger out like shown. So we're gonna mount our brake switch here. At this point, now that we have everything tight, you wanna one more time double check and make sure that the plunger is not engaged on the brake switch. We are good to go here. At this point, you can connect your brake switch wires to the brake switch wires from your bucket harness. And now we can reattach our brake access cover panel. Now we're gonna reattach our trim piece here. Now we're gonna reattach our charge port bezel and secure the front of the body using the retained screws. Now we can replace our floor mat. Now we're gonna remove our front bumper and retain the hardware. You're gonna use a 13 millimeter socket on the bottom and a 10 millimeter wrench on the top to take the two front bolts out. The two front bolts here and here, do not take out these, just these two here. We're gonna discard the bumper, but before we put our new light on, we're gonna install our horn. Using a self-tapping screw, we're gonna attach the horn to a flat metal surface. Before you attach your light bar to the front of the cart, you look on the back side of the light bar, you have an orange and black female spade connector. You're gonna attach these to the back side of the horn, doesn't matter which terminal. Now using the retained bolts, we're gonna secure the light bar to the frame. Once both bolts are in place, then tighten your hardware. Now we're gonna attach the six pin from the light to the six pin of the front light harness. Next, you're gonna attach the female bullet connector with running light connector sticker on it to the small male bullet connector coming from the front harness. The other male connector here is not used. This is for your daytime running lights. Then you're just gonna secure this harness safely to the front of the cart. Now we're gonna install the tail lights. As you can see here, this cart already had tail lights. We've removed those. We're still gonna show you where to measure from to mark your hole. First thing you're gonna do is come over from the flat point of the body. So right after the curve right here, come over two and a quarter inches and make a mark. 
Once you come over two and a quarter, you're gonna come up from the bottom one and a half. So from the top of the underbody or the bottom of the body, come up one and a half inches and make another mark. Then using a hole saw or a cutting tool, you're gonna cut a one and a half inch hole here. That'll allow the three pin connector to go through. Now we're gonna use a wire snake, feed it through the body and grab our tail light harness. We're gonna plug in our tail light. Next, you're gonna peel off the red tape on the back side of the tail light. Set your tail light where you want it. You don't wanna to go too far around the corner because the tail light is curved to the body, but anywhere in this area is good. And then secure with the supplied screws. Do not over tighten. You can break the bezel. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. For video purposes only, we're gonna show you how to connect the converter to the harnesses on top of the battery pack. But we recommend that you mount the converter to a flat metal surface, preferably the passenger side frame. Just remember to run your wires up through the bottom of the battery pack to connect them. Now we're gonna attach the blue and black pigtail for the battery hookups to the cart. First, you're gonna go with the blue female spade to the blue male spade on the 48 volt positive here. Next, you're gonna attach the black male bullet connector to the black and yellow cable and connector that comes out of the OBC. Then you're gonna take the black and blue from your bucket harness and attach it to the black and yellow of your converter. Now you're gonna attach the black and red from your converter to the black and blue that we hooked up to the main positive 48 and the black cable coming out of the OBC. You will notice a small pop here. That means that the converter is on and active. You're now finished installing your Mad Jacks Ultimate Plus light kit designed for the club car precedent.